But that doesn't seem like it's going to be the case here unless Hugh Grant suddenly appears with a gimp mask on and nipple clamps. <laughs> How's it going, creeps? Welcome back to Cinema Creep. My name is Drucifer, and this is Trailer Trash. Trailer Trash is a series on this channel where I review, rate, and react to horror film trailers. And in tonight's video, we are going to be taking a look at one of A24's latest horror films, Heretic. So one thing that was not on my 2024 bingo card was checking out an A24 horror film starring Hugh fucking Grant. But when I really, really think about it, I guess it's really not that surprising because it's a very A24 type of thing to do. So far, all I know about this film is that it stars Hugh Grant and is written and directed by two of the guys that helped write and direct A Quiet Place. I'm talking about none other than Scott Beck and Brian Wood. They seem to be creating interesting horror stories and I really hope Heretic follows suit. They had John Krasinski to help with A Quiet Place and uh, he did not help write this film, so I guess we're gonna see how well these two guys do on their own. I have a lot of hope for them, so let's check out this trailer and see what this one is all about. All right, so here we are on the Heretic IMDb page, and like I said, Heretic comes out this year, and it is expected November 15th, 2024. So we're gonna be getting a lot of great horror films this fall and winter. You know, we're gonna be expecting Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, we're gonna be expecting Heretic, Terrifier 3 and Nosferatu. So uh, we've got a lot to look forward to, you know, in the last part of this year. So the synopsis for this film is plot is under wraps, but it is rumored to follow two young women of religion who are drawn into a game of cat and mouse in the house of a strange man. And it's currently in post-production. And like I said, the directors and writers are Scott Beck and Brian Woods, uh, who wrote A Quiet Place. And we have Hugh Grant, Sophia Thatcher, Chloe East, Elle McKinnon, uh, River Kodak, Caroline Adair, and even more. So I'm not familiar with any of these people other than Hugh Grant, and I was never expecting to see him in a horror film, especially an A24 one. But like I said, it actually doesn't surprise me the more I think about it. Let's go ahead and let's check out this trailer, and then we will rate it and we'll talk some more about the film's details. You know, ma'am, are you interested in learning about our Savior, Jesus Christ? Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi, are you My name is uh, Sister Barnes, and oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah. Are you interested in learning more about the Church of Jesus Christ? Come on in. We can't come inside unless another woman is present. My wife is home. He Does just that looks come? like a villain. Great. You like pie? Yeah. My wife has pie in the oven. I, I could tell that you are a very spiritually <laughs> curious person. I think it is good to be religious, to find your faith in a doctrine you actually believe. <laughs> well, our work here is done. <laughs> no, I, I will go and check on the pie. So sweet, silent, Yeah, up here's where it takes a turn. We just need to go home. I won't keep you if you wish to leave. But I want you to choose which door to go through based on your faith. What does this have to do with us leaving? Everything. I think that we're being studied. It will make your hearts beat faster. It may even make you want to die. Do not be afraid. You will witness a miracle. Oh, 
Okay, so this movie has me really excited and it honestly looks way better than I thought it was going to. When movies have names like Heretic, I sort of roll my eyes and think, okay, here we go. Let's see how shocking they can be and how try hard they can be. And then they go way too, like, trying to be dark and over the top and it ends up ruining it. <clears throat> Every movie Rob Zombie's ever made. <clears throat> Uh, wow, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so I really don't like when movies are super try hard and try to just really play on like religion and it just, I don't know, it just comes off as cheesy. But that doesn't seem like it's going to be the case here unless Hugh Grant suddenly appears with a gimp mask on and nipple clamps. Then this movie seems like it will be really, really well done and serve us up some slow terror and impending doom that we all love to feel. You know, sort of like tax time. I think based on the trailer, I'm going to rate this four out of five creeps. Now I would have rated it five creeps as much as I enjoy the religious angle in films. Like I said, if not done correctly or the right way can often come off as cheesy and not in a good way. Also the ending shot of the trailer where it shows one of the girls in the maze at Hugh Grant's home looks cool, but I could go without the blatantly fake CGI in a movie like this. You know, I think movies like this that are actually grounded in realism with, you know, um, somebody kidnapping you or a serial killer or just being stuck in somebody's home, you know, they're way more frightening when they're grounded in realism and there's not some crazy maze or crazy monsters and CGI, you know, something like Misery, for example. Now, hopefully they use CGI sparingly in this and they don't really have too many crazy, like, jigsaw type of traps in his house um, and if they keep it to a minimum I think that this one is going to be really really good but you know what let's take one last look at IMDB and see if we can find any more additional details about the movie so here we are on the heretic IMDB page and a lot of times I like to kind of scroll through the pictures and see if there's any BTS or you know additional images or stills from the trailer or from the movie a lot of times productions will put those up so let's click through here and see what we got and we have nothing so heretic has this one promotional poster i'm sure as the movie gets closer and closer to its uh opening date they'll add more in here but uh right now all we have is this blueberry pie candle poster and you saw that the blueberry pie candle um, held a significance in the movie trailer. Because Hugh Grant's character says, come on in and invites the girls in because he has a pie in the oven and his wife is in there in the house. And they eventually find out that the smell of the pie that he's cooking is actually a blueberry candle. So it immediately makes him look untrustworthy and uh, makes them start to panic. If A24 doesn't sell promotional blueberry pie candles, for the release of this movie, it is a huge missed opportunity. I'm sure they will, but uh, if so, I think we need to get one for the studio. So I wonder if this is one of those movies where they can't escape the home or he tries to keep them in the house. One, he locks them in, but two, it looks like it was snowing outside when they were trying to leave. So maybe there's a blizzard and he's like, well, just stay until it gets done snowing and then I'll let you go kind of deal. Um, that's sort of the vibe I'm getting from the trailer. What do you guys think the premise is? Do you think they're just locked in, or do you think that he convinces them to stay because of the storm? Let me know down in the comments. So that was the trailer for Heretic. Don't forget to drop your ratings down in the comments and let me know what you thought of this trailer and if you're excited to see this film or not. Also, let me know down in the comments what your favorite being held captive film is. And another thing, don't forget to check the description for cool ways to help support the Cinema Creep channel. Last but not least, don't be a chud and like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more killer content from the Cinema Creep channel. And as always, stay creepy and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.